Well, good morning, Lake Grove. Uh, during our morning devotions, we are continuing to explore the overarching reservoir theme of the prayer-filled life. Uh, during much of this week, we will be reflecting together on Jesus's high priestly prayer as recorded in John chapter 17. Uh, but today in the reservoir, we are asked to consider how prayer and action are woven together in the life of faith. You know, as I was reflecting on this notion of the interplay between prayer and action, I remembered some advice that I received from a mentor when I was a very young Christian. Uh, she told me that I should never offer a prayer unless I was willing to be part of the answer to that prayer. Now, I understood her to be saying that I should pray and that I should literally bring everything to the Lord in prayer, but that as I prayed for others, I should do so with a, what I would call an open-handed posture, uh, saying in effect to the Lord, Lord, please do something in this situation. And if you want to use me to accomplish your purposes, uh, I am at your bidding. I am willing to go and do whatever you would have me to do. Now, many years ago, uh, St. Francis of Assisi, the 13th century Roman Catholic friar, uh, he said this, he said, we should not seek so much to pray, but to become prayer. Listen to that again and let it sink in. We should not seek so much to pray, but to become prayer. Again, I understand St. Francis to be saying that prayer and action must be woven together that we must always be ready uh, to be part of the answer to the prayers that we offer. St. Francis himself modeled this interplay between prayer and action in his famous uh, prayer that we entitle the Peace Prayer. Um, do you remember the words? It goes like this. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Now friends, I wonder what it would be like if you and I prayed this prayer or a prayer like it every day and signaled to the Lord that we were ready and willing to take action, and in the words of St. Francis, to become prayer. Why don't we start right now, today? Will you pray with me? Oh Lord our God, we come before you this morning and we offer prayers to you of intercession. Intercession for this world that you love so much, but Lord, we not only offer our prayers, but we offer our very selves. Lord, we want to become prayer today. We pray that you would give us grace to have eyes and hearts that are wide open and that, Lord, we might see where you are in action in this world and then join you in your work. Lord, may it be so today, for we ask this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. And indeed, friends, may it be so. Amen.